guys welcome back to enigma 77 reviews and i have changed the backdrop why i just thought we need a little bit brightening up here we go i've actually changed my whole studio around guys if you want to see um a studio tour with the studio tour what's in my dressing table and my drawers i have done one before um but it was based around what's in the actual drawers we want to see the whole setup of how i've got it in here because i have changed it slightly Pop a comment on below and say yes please i'd like to see that and i'll put it on my um list of things to do i've also noticed a lot of people doing some um free content and i like that i like that i'm trying to do that myself why i don't want to be spending too much money doesn't mean i'm not spending money at the minute i'm trying to keep my money based around uh, my competition and small independent businesses so i'm just trying to keep it on that and anything that i need as a necessity today's video i'm going to be doing um as some of you know i did actually win um a kill star well not all of you basically i won a kill star um bag now i didn't necessarily think about winning this bag i just put a comment on below on on the thing not even thinking that in the slightest there's thousands of people all commenting on this thing i'll never win it and it doesn't really matter because i've got it anyway but I, I put my name down and answered the, the question that they had in hand. And then about a few days later, or maybe the next day, I had an email from Killstar saying I I was one of the people to win the bag. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. That, that's fantastic. I, I've got two bags. <laughs> and I've got two of my other Killstar bags, which one's in the 1K giveaway. If you don't know, go to the 1K goth giveaway. I do have a Killstar bag in there. I've also got a pair of Lamorda um, shoes, sandal shoes. It's a massive giveaway. If you want to be in it, just go and enter. And all the information's on that video. And you go in a playlist, go to giveaways, 1,000 um, goth giveaway. Because there's two 1K giveaways, one for beauty, one for goth. So it, it arrived. It's been here for about a week, guys. And the only reason I haven't opened it is because I ordered a couple of things from Killstar myself. And for that reason, I thought I'd just do them together rather than doing... Because mine's only a tiny, like, tiny, tiny, small haul. And the only reason I got this haul is because ugh, I'm so bad. If I see somebody, like, showing something and I think, oh, my God, I love them, I tend to want to go and buy it. But that's that's why we are who we are, you know. I don't, we don't class ourselves as influencers, but it, technically we are because people will go and buy what we've bought because they like it. So I seen um, Heavy Metal Mama with these and I was like, oh, I like, I like them. <laughs> I could never look. So I went and had a look. They were really reasonably priced and I bought them. So that's what my other package is. And it is literally small, guys. So here is my win and here is my tiny little, tiny, tiny little order. You'll see, you'll see. Because I'm not getting in the habit of ordering from Killstar all the time because I can't afford to. Right, so this is the bag that I won, guys. So it came super quick, actually. A little invoice in there as well. Finally, I can get rid of the bag. So it's well packaged. I know because I've had, I've got this bag upstairs and you will have seen it in some of my videos. So it just has my details on here, where it's from. And it just says, one goth juice handbag. Um, it should have cost 29.99, guys. And obviously it, it's not cost me anything, but Let's take a look. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet as far as this is concerned because I have got lots of giveaways already on, guys, and to be honest with you, nobody seems bothered about them, so I'm not enticed to give my stuff away just for the fact of waiting another 12 months for to give it away. So, yeah. But I'll show you all the same. So it comes in the, um, the bag, which keeps them fresh. I keep all my bags in these. If you like to see... Um, my handbags i've not got that many but if you want to see a video of what handbags i do have pop a comment on below and i will do that as well so it's well wrapped up and obviously i think mine still has this on as well because i've, I've not been anywhere to use my bag mine is still packaged like new like this so i've actually got two of them now so this is what it looks like guys inside will be the strap and i think it's a chain strap don't you just love the smell of brand new handbags? So it's well packaged inside, guys. I will be putting that back in. Um, yeah, so at the bottom of the bag is this chain and leather strap. 
And then they've got the bag freshener inside there as well. I'm going to keep that packaged in. Well, let me just show you inside. So it's quite a deep bag. It's not very wide, but it's deep. Um, and it's magnetised here. So it is... It's so easy for somebody to open that and grab your purse. That's the only downside to some of these bags. Um, but if you've got a small little like coin purse that you could put in there and put it at the bottom, you're gonna feel somebody they're gonna start digging into your bag. But if it was a purse that you just left at the top and some or your phone and somebody could just get in and grab it, just a, just a, a thought. So this is it. So on the side it says fresh taste match, match to your black soul. Obviously, it's got 100% horror organic. <laughs> Your nutrition facts, which I absolutely love. It says 100% darkness, 0% sunshine, 666% witchcraft, 0% boring, 100% strange, and 100% unusual. Ingredients, souls, concentrated darkness, moon essence, black colour. Warning, may contain black magic. I love it. And then um, that's pretty much it. So guys, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this bag yet. Um, if you've got any suggestions, pop a comment down below. A few people have said, why don't you do a flash giveaway? Um, maybe that would get my subs up a bit more. I don't want to. I don't want to gain subs through giving things away, guys. I want to gain subs for my content, if that makes sense. So you know, purely giving this away would be great, but. You know, as soon as one person wins it, everybody else unsubscribes because they didn't win it and they don't see any point in staying on my, my channel. And that's the only reason why I won't do that. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, guys. I may give it as a gift, maybe at Christmas to somebody or I don't know. I don't have any, like, any other people in my family that are inclined like me. <laughs> I am the only one. I am unique. I don't have any family members that are got or alternative or anything like that so that was that guys so i was happy to win that so thank you killstar for that and thank you for getting it out so soon uh got an itch right let's get stuck into mine i will keep the invoice in there um yeah i do have like i said i do have the other killstar which is the strawberry milkshake one that is on my 1k giveaway if you do want to be in that you've got to be subscribed publicly to my channel um but if you go onto my playlist and go onto that everything's on there i have added the lamoda shoe since i did that video i may do an updated video um maybe in another maybe in another six months time when this lockdown and everything's finished and i can get back out and finish that giveaway because i do need to add like a cup to it and some sweets and everything else to it some tea but because i can't physically go out to town now at the minute um i can't complete it i've got a hair on my face and it's absolutely irritating me right let's get stuck into mine i will sterilize my hands after this because this came um today so I've had a few parcels today, so I will be doing a few videos today, but let's get stuck in. Right, there's my invoice. Here's my small two items. Jesus, that's heavy. Here's my bag. I'm just going to sterilise my hands anyway, guys, even though I have literally just touched my face, so it's pretty pointless. <laughs> um, I don't think that they'll have people working if they've all got the virus, but I'm just paranoid at the minute. Hey, anybody else paranoid when parcels turn up at the door? Or is it just me? Right, let's get stuck into these two items. Right, this first item looks like this, and you're probably thinking, what is that? Now, I've been after these for such a long, long time, and I've, I've just been put off by getting them. I don't know why I've been put off, but in the end I thought, do you know what? Sometimes I can't afford these mega expensive um, demonia and new rocks and um whatever else expensive shoes dot martins i do own quite a lot of them anyway and i don't just want to buy for the sake of oh they look nice i'm just going to buy them so i thought if i could just get out i do own some killstar shoes there's a lot more killstar shoes that i'd like to own but i'm just not too sure if they're as hard wearing as some brands um so let's crack these open and see what they look like and then you probably wonder what these. Now, I am going to be ordering from um, Quiet Footwear. They do actually have some bat inserts for shoes. And I absolutely love them. And I've been wanting them for the longest time. So I am going to pick them up. And I think with these, I can, like, kick my shoes up. Oh, is there only one? What? Ew. Well, okay, I didn't expect that. I thought there'd be a pair. But, uh, yeah one 
shoe harness. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure how this works, how this goes or anything, but um, I'll insert a picture here, guys, so you get to see what this is supposed to look like. Now, obviously, I was not aware that there was only one in here. If I was aware of that, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Um, I don't think you need to. I'm not too sure, but so it's all tangled up. Let me just untangle it a minute. So he's got these little clippies in here. So obviously these clip in somewhere around the shoes. I'm not too sure where, but this is the, the part here that probably goes around your ankles. There's three adjustments. Oh no, just the one. How does this work? Guys, this is quite hard to figure out. Um, that goes in there. Does that go in there? And then through the loop, maybe? Yeah. So that's how it goes. I think that goes around your foot and then that goes around your shoe. And then that round the back, maybe? I have no idea. I do want to start getting some body harnesses, like mainly from like scarlet and chains. But I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure how this shoe harness goes, but you will have seen the picture. Right, moving on. I'm not too sure about that at all, guys. I don't even know if I want to keep it or send it back. I don't know. Tell me what you think, guys. Do you think I should order another one so I've got a pair? Or do you think I should send it back? Because it just seems crazy just having one on your foot. But hey -oh. Right, so the next item that I got was because of heavy metal mama showing me. And I think I've seen um, Thunderella. I think I've seen her wearing them in her pictures. Don't think I've noticed anybody else, but they, they, a lot of people loan these guys, let's put it that way. So they come in this beautiful Killstar pouch. Nice little box. No, Rachel, you don't need any more boxes. Put it in the bin. <laughs> so it comes in this case, so you can kind of gather what it is. And then these just pop open like so. Woo! And then out come the glasses. So... This is the Enchantra, Enchant, do you know what? My eyes are getting worse as I'm getting older. Enchantra sunglasses. Now these were $14.99 by the way guys. The Diablo shoe harness was $9.99. I should have known it said shoe harness, not harnesses Rachel. Yep. So let's take a look at these, oh my lord. Now I do own a few pairs of sunglasses don't ask me where they are in the house because I haven't got a clue. They're pretty much like this kind of shape. Um, I've got a pair that I got last year which were actually a branded pair. But I got them really cheap. I just don't know where they are. I did have Red or Dead um, glasses. They're actually subscription glasses because I do have bad eyes, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, when I don't wear my glasses for a long period of time, I do get the worst migraine ever. So I, tend to, I wear these... On a permanent basis guys even though sometimes i don't wear them on camera i do wear them as a permanent basis so obviously if i'm going to be wearing sunglasses for a long period of time i may get headaches now there is a uv 400 protection on this there's a little sticker i will take that off because that will absolutely irritate the life out of me let me see if i can just peel that off yeah because we don't want to keep that on there so let's have a look because i've seen lolly with these and i thought wow they're beautiful i don't know if i'm going to suit these these kind of glasses i do like the round glasses i used to own about 15 pairs of sunglasses um what have i done with them i don't know i don't know when i moved from rochdale to here i could never find half of my stuff and i don't know if my daughters nicked them <laughs> or they just got lost in transit right let's have a look oh my lord they are sweet. Look at them, guys. You, can't, you cannot actually see my eyebrows with them on. They are lovely. I love this, uh, is it the filigree kind of detail in the glass? And it has this, this like winged effect. I like it. They're quite high up. They remind me of like a 50s retro kind of sunglasses. That's the kind of glasses that I've always kind of gone for. And the round glasses. Now, I've seen um, Jane Wilkes as well. She's done her sunglasses and she's got some amazing ones that she's DIY'd, which makes me want to do the same. 
I just need to order the equipment to do it and possibly go Primark to grab some glasses. But these are sweet. Now, I have recently bought a summer hat as well. So I can imagine the hat and the glasses will go really nice together. Don't have my hat to hand, it's upstairs. But I'll take some pictures so you get to see what they look like. But I think they are really, really nice. So they are quite tight on um, my face. There's no like nose nip things like you get in sunglasses. Mine don't have them in. And I find these are more comfortable than having the, you know, the little plastic insert that you have on the top of your bridge your nose. I hate that, it does my head in. Um, and it actually shows where the filigree design is actually screwed on. So. For example, if you didn't really like this design on the glasses, I mean, I'd find that pretty pointless. You could take it off, but I wouldn't do that. These are absolutely sweet. And I think these sit quite nice on top of the head as well, which you do. Uh, I've actually got some harness. I've got the, um, can't remember what it's called. Oh, can't remember what it's called. I've got some little straps that can attach to your glasses that can stay around your neck, but... <laughs> I like them, they are amazing. So $14.99, you do get a case with it, which I'm glad about. I can put this in my bag and know that they're not getting scratched and so forth. Stick them in. So that's it guys. So one goth handbag, which I didn't pay for because I won it. One goth shoe harness, which I will insert some pictures if I suss it out um, and if I decide to keep it. All right guys, take care of yourself. Um, altogether, that was $24.99. Go and have a look if you want to pair these glasses. I think that they're worth $14.99. But if you don't like paying that kind of amount for glasses, I would probably recommend you going into Primark and have a look in there. Or Matalan, I know Matalan do sunglasses. Or go in Home Bargains. They normally have a real big section of glasses. That's where I got my glasses from last year. I'll have to go and have a look and see if I can find them. All right, guys, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe.